Server admins are essential for maintaining order and ensuring a positive playing experience by enforcing rules and managing disruptive behavior. In today's video, we're going to go over how to add admins on an SCP secret laboratory server. We will first go over how to add the admins, then we'll go over how to manage their permissions. First, we're going to log into our Bicyctoast and Games panel and choose their SCP secret laboratory server. Next, we're going to choose the stop button to stop the server. We'll then go to the files tab and we're going to go into the config folder. And then we're going to open the config underscore remote admin dot txt file. Under the members line, we're going to enter the following dash space and then there's Steam ID 64. If you don't know how to find the Steam ID 64, there will be a video in the description going over how. Then after those numbers, the at symbol, then Steam colon space admin. After the colon, you can also put owner, super admin, or moderator, and we'll go over later what all those do. Once you've added all these Steam ID 64s for each admin you want to add, we can choose the save content button. Then we can go back to the home tab, start our server, and we'll have added admins on our SCP secret laboratory server. Now we will go over how to manage admin permissions on an SCP secret laboratory server. First, we're going to log into our Bicyctoast and Games panel and choose our SCP secret laboratory server. Next, we're going to choose the stop button to stop the server. We'll then go to the files tab and we're going to go into the config folder and then go into the config underscore remote admin dot txt file. Under the roles line, we can enter a new line with a dash and then space and then the name of the role. By default, there is owner, admin, and moderator, which you can add any new roles you would like. Then we can scroll down a little further and see the permissions line, and all of these shows what each role are able to do. You can change these. Just make sure within the brackets that you have the name of the role, then a comma directly after, and then a space separating each role you would like for each permission. Then we can scroll up to where it says, let's define roles, and you can change the different roles and what they show up as in game and their power here. And then lastly, we can add those members as the role by going to the members line and entering the steam ID 64, the at symbol, steam, colon, space, and then their role that you would like to assign them to. Once you've changed all this, you can choose the save content button. Then you can go back to the home tab, start your server, and you'll have managed the admin permissions on an SCP secret laboratory server. Thanks for watching and check out bisectoasting.com, your ultimate gaming partner.